A new state law meant to reduce prison overcrowding will soon bring some early release prisoners to Pasadena and the San Gabriel Valley. This past Thursday, Pasadena police hosted a town hall meeting to reassure the community and show how the new prisoners will be integrated back into society. Commander John Perez with the Pasadena Police Department is here live to tell us more about the program. So thank you for coming on camera with us. Thank you for having us. So how does the uh, state decide which prisoners will be released? Well, there are two processes that are going on. One is uh, a federal mandate by the uh, U.S. Uh, District Court that will not take effect until sometime in 2011 that we might see the release of up to uh, 40,000 inmates to reduce overcrowding. That hasn't occurred yet, and that's something that the courts will have to decide over the next year. Currently, what we are managing through is the non-revocable parole uh, release of individuals, and we're looking at a number of about 17,000 here in the state of California. I think locally I've been given the number by our local parole office of about 7,000 here in L.A. County and maybe 500 here in the city of Pasadena. But, you know, it's not that we're concerned about all 500 coming out at one time. Okay. It will be over different periods of time throughout the year. And, in fact, there might only be a few that come out. And most don't want to return back to prison. They want to try to improve their lives and do something more than go back. So we know that there's not going to be such a fear of crime where they're running rampant in the streets. That's not going to occur. Okay. Now, you'd mentioned that they're released under a non-revocable parole. Yes. Um, will they have any kind of probation guidelines? There will be no parole guidelines for them. Um, what, was, what was happening is that the uh, NRP, as they're called, uh, it began January 25th, and we're going to have uh, small pods of people being released throughout the state for the entire year. However, currently, there is an assembly bill on the floor of the California uh, Assembly, and it's reduced the speed in which people are being released. Um, um, the tool, the assessment tool being used has to be uh, reworked and to ensure that the level of risk of an individual is closely evaluated. And so that's going to reduce the speed in which they're being released. At the same time in this bill is the ability for us to be notified as police departments 48 hours before somebody is released. Again, that's still through the process of the assembly and we'll see what happens on that. But it has reduced uh, some of the speed in which people are being released on this NRP. Okay. But So I know that um, they w wouldn't be able to be sent back to prison for the same offense. Um, so if there are, are any, uh, you know, if they break any parole violations, do we just kind of look the other way? How does, how does that work? What happens, they're released on NRP, it means they don't have a parole officer they're reporting to mm -hmm. or an office that they go to. Um, they are released back into society uh, and they re-enter. And at this point, if they go back to prison, it will be for a new charge. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the responsibility of that individual not to commit the crime, but as well for a community to have options to ensure that the, what we use in this city is reintegration. Reentry means to put back the way it was. Re reintegration is a whole new process. And we want them to reintegrate into our society and not return back to prison. And that's really the goal. Um, well, you know, coming back into society and uh, with programs such as drug counseling, education, um, you know, job training, things like that, you know, a lot of the, uh, there's a lot of cuts to funding for those programs as well. Good. So what kind of support are we giving? At this point, you know, this has become a community initiative. This is not a police department initiative. It's really about the community. I think we've heard Chief Asino say many times, uh, this is not about returning people back to prison. It's about prevention, intervention, and try and do what we can, because we will always put people back in jail as a society. But what we need to do is try to save the people that we can from prison. This community it has started a grassroots initiative that is about finding nonprofits who want to work together, faith-based institutions, the city government to work together to provide uh, opportunities and um, really trying to reintegrate them into society to have jobs, job training. Um, some may need food for their families. We may have issues with some who are being released who have children. What are we doing for tutoring to break the cycle in that family? Uh, this goes well beyond just you know uh, in law enforcement. This is about a community and what we're doing to improve and enhance uh, people's lives. Absolutely. It does seem like there's a lot involved. So we look forward to hearing more about the program, um, you know, getting the dates on when the 500 will be uh, released into the community and, and what's being done. So I know that's a much longer conversation, but we thank you for coming here today. Thank you for having me.